Hi, in this tutorial, we'll be testing the BLE app keyboard example located in the NRA5 SDK. Okay, so for that, you need to have a development kit, an NRA52 based development kit. So you can either use the NRA52 development kit, the NRA52 840 development kit, and I think also the, the, the other development kit available in the, in, in the NRA52 series, which is the NRA52 8. 33 development kit okay so for me I'll be using the NRA5248 development kit this one okay the next thing that you need to have installed in your in your PC is uh, the NRF command line tools you need to have the latest version here for your operating system so for example for me I have the Windows 64 bit and uh, once you choose that here and you can see, you see it here the, the the latest version and click here to download it and you can then install it on your PC Next thing that you need to have is the NA5 SDK I'll be using the version 16.0.0 so you need to download that also The next tool that you need to have is the Sigur Embedded Studio IDE as we'll be using the Sigur tool chain so you just need to head over to this web page here and download it here for your operating system okay so next uh, the next tool that you need to have uh, for this uh, for this uh, for testing this example is this app here uh, we'll be using this one for the for in for for our android phone this is for uh, for seeing what example what, what exactly the the, the development kit sends uh, to our to our phone here for the head uh, for the head events you can you can use this app here to to debug that okay you need to have this one installed on your phone i'm not sure it's, if it is available on ios but as i see here i have i have a will be testing on an android phone so it is available here okay cool so here i have the nn5 sdk e extracted here so here we're gonna locate the examples the examples sorry the examples folder next to the billy peripheral Next, look at our example, which is this one. This is Billy App H I G S keyboard, and here you have the development kit supported for this develop for this uh, example. Here you have the NRA52 development kit. This is the emulated version for the NRA52 development kit. This is for the other SOC that this that the NRA52 development kit support. This one, this is PCA156. This is for the NRA52 H40. This is what I will be using as I have the NRA52 H for development kit. This is for the uh, this is the emulated version of this one. This is for the other SOC that the NLA 840 supports the development for. Okay, and this one is for the other development kit. I think this is for the NLA 5283 development kit. Okay, cool. Okay, so I have the NLA 5840 development kit. So I open this folder here. Then we'll be using the S140 uh, soft device. And next, uh, for the tool chain, I'm using Sega Image Studio here. Okay, and you open this file here. Just click on, double click on it, and it will launch the Image Studio with the project, the example project opened here. Cool, so this here, we have our project, main.c file. Cool, next thing that you need to have is uh, uh, plug in your development kit. This is my development kit, I'll just re-plug it. Again. And here it is. It is uh, on here. As you can see, the here is an LED uh, on. Cool. So the first thing that you need to do is head over to target, connect G link, then again target, then it is all. This is to erase the the other app if if it has another application uh, on its flash memory. Next thing that you need, you head over to build menu, then build and run. This should build it and run it on your development case. Okay, so... Should be running in a second here.
okay as you can see here in my developer kit here the led one is blinking this means that the development kit is advertising okay so let's uh we'll do a quick a first test here with the with, the, with my pc here i'm using the windows 10 so i have the billy here so just head over to bluetooth here okay uh, bluetooth and other devices settings just open this mini here Okay. Okay, here it is. So here I have the Bluetooth, it is on. So the first thing you have to do is to connect my developer kit is head over to add Bluetooth and other devices. Then uh, select the Bluetooth, yeah, the first one. It's scanning now, but as you can see here, the the LED uh, is uh, the LED on the on the development kit is not blinking fast. This is due to that we have m uh, many t many types of advertising. The first one is the fast advertising, and as you can see, with, once uh, we flashed the, our application, the LED was blinking fast. Now it is blinking not fast. It is uh, a bit long. So here it is passed to another uh, to another uh, advertising type, and this is uh, it, and it is uh, it takes the host uh, more time to discover this development kit. This is for uh, this is done for uh, power 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 savings concerns. Okay, so here I have my development kit. This is the name that we just gave to. The name that the project gave it to it to the to the to the developer kit. This is one here. See the device name, Norgy keyboard. Okay, just continue. And here I see, just click on it, connect in. Let me in uh in, enable the thermal ML to to see some logs if they are. And here we have some logs for the peer manager handle. This is for the for the pairing, because this example uses the pairing. It pairs to the host. Okay, and your device is ready to go. Just done. Hit done. And here we have we have our device. See here, Nordic keyboard connected. And as you can see here in my development kit, it is showing uh, I uh, that it is connected with the LED one. See, it is not blinking. It is just on. So let's let's give it a test. So just open a uh, a block note here. And let me press the button one, and as you can see, H. Again, press again, E, again, L, again, L, again, O, again. We have a brick line here. Just keep pressing it. We have the same word printed. Cool. The next thing that we need to do is just give it a test on our my uh, mobile phone here. Here is my mobile phone. And it is okay. So what we're gonna do is the first thing is is uh, connecting to it. But first, you know that we have we have connected to we are connected through to the windows here. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, turn off the Bluetooth here. You know, should to dis to automatically disconnect from it. You can see here we have disconnected. Fast advertising just start, started again. Okay, just head over to my mobile phone here. The settings. Uh, device connectivity, Bluetooth, and here it is scanning. Uh, the developer kit is blinking, so it should appear here in the search. Not yet. So again. Okay, let's stop it here, turn it off, turn it on. Oh, I see. So it just connects and pairs to one device. This is, this is, this is why we have the wait list here, see? That's the problem. We have a wait list here in, the, in this example. So it'll just connect to one, one, the first one. If you connect it to a device, it'll still just connect to that 
device only and it is uh, added to the to, to the wait list okay so the, the, what we what we'll be doing here is we'll just uh, you know uh, refresh the our example the first thing that we will we'll be doing here is a uh, head over to target going to link we need to erase the the chip here no it is all yes cool just again build on the run good it is blanking head over to my phone it should find it now And here it is, no the keyboard. Let's place on this one, it is pairing to pair to give our low access pair. And there you go, it is pairing now. Okay, so let's let's uh mm, I think open a notepad here. Yeah, notepad, other new to do here, and just press the button, the first button, just press it. And here you go, see the same message is printed. Cool, that's it. So uh, let's let's have a look at what a a, a, a problem that you that you that you maybe face with the with this type of examples that uses that uses the pairing. Okay, so let's do a another uh, test here. So let's uh, just target connect. Uh, first, I just need to disconnect here. So just head over to settings and just there's a turn off the Bluetooth. Then target it is all. This it is all, and again build on the RAM. Okay, call should ad should be advertising a second. And here, let me try uh, start the bl turn on the Bluetooth here on my PC. Okay, let me open the terminal here. We have first advertising, and we have here in the Bluetooth settings, as you can see, AC connected, paired. It changed, it can't connect to the, to the device. Why? Because with the, with the pairing, the two devices exchange some keys. Some keys. Those keys, it was is what uh, it was let the, the 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 host auto connect to the paired device. So, for example, if you uh, if you uh, erase the development kit, I mean you erase the flash, all the content on the flash, you also erase the, the keys. That's why. But here in the, the, the in the house, you still the, the house still have the key of the last pairing. But the development kit doesn't know that pairing. So once the exchange the, the exchange of the keys, the, once the, 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 the two devices uh once the two devices uh, verify those keys, the device does not have a key, but the, the, the host have a key. That's why it tries to connect, but the, 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 the development kit that the, the, don't allow it. So to fix this problem here, what you're gonna do is just click on this one here and uh, click on the remove device. This will delete the key on the host side. So just, yes, remove a device, it is removed now. Now you can uh, try it uh, from the first here, just Bluetooth, search for it, Nordic keyboard, done. And should appear here. Sorry. And here it is, and it is connected. Cool. Now let's, let's give it a test. Okay. Just press the first button. And here it is, working good. Okay, so let's uh, go to the phone here. But but before that, before that, we're gonna need, we will be doing a, a small a, a small uh, update to this example here. You get, we, we need to we will be changing this here. See what what the the the, the, the development kit uses. Where where is find these hello, uh, these hello characters that it it sends uh, through the Bluetooth to the host. And here they are. See, the key H is a, a zero B. This is a hex. And we have E, we have L, we have another L, and O, and we have the return key. Those are the hex codes for those keys. 
to have a look at all the hex codes for uh, the hex codes for all the keys the easy thing that you're going to do is open this example here there's several examples peripheral then go to us uh, usbd hid G no it's not generic it's composite here yeah, for the composite one pci 156 then blank then see uh, then open this file here this file here this will launch the project in this project here we are concerned about this uh, this header file here this one app usb d h i g keyboard dot h this is the one i will open here and if you scroll in this uh, file here as you can see we have uh, the let those uh, characters here and those are their codes this is on decimal so to use it in our example you need to uh, to set it to we need to convert it to hex codes see the uh, the difference between those uh, two examples is that this example is the keyboard but this is the keyboard through the usb and the other one is the keyboard through the bluetooth cool so here let's let's do it uh, uh, let's compare so we have the h here it is 11 here this is decimal and if we're looking at our example ch here is 0b 11 is 0b uh, in x so we have a is 10 and b is 11. so for example let's change it so let's uh, instead of h let's put uh, a let's look at what uh, a so we have a we have four and four in the uh, in decimal is the same as four is it four on in x let's put a four and it saves don't uh, don't uh, it is the we won't we won't be erasing because we, we will still be uh, pairing to the to our host here so just build and run it is connected but it'll, dis it'll disconnect and reconnect again as we as we don't as we don't erase all our uh, device so it has the the pairing keys okay it is building and running should run in a second here and you can see should see it it is disconnected okay i'll try to pair and it is connected again cool so let's try again it is connected this is paired good so we'll just open this block right here at the second line just press the first uh, button here develop again and as you can see we have a q why we have a q instead of a this is related to the keyboard language I use. So for me, I use French, a French keyboard. But if I use an English keyboard here, see, just another line here. I just press the, the, the first key, see, we have it working good. So what to note here is that, let me just, let me just open this one here. Those hex codes here are for English keyboards are for an English keyboard if you have a, a French keyboard here or another keyboard that uses the, the same characters here you know I B C D it'll have a different uh, a different behavior so for example if you sit a it'll be a Q in a French keyboard you know what I mean cool and that's it here okay so next thing that we've been doing is testing on the on my phone here so uh, same we have a waitlist here so we need to it is all so target Running target, it is all just put the run. So this what happens same as with the with the with the windows. So what we're gonna do here in the Bluetooth? So just go to settings, then Bluetooth, Bluetooth. Then we have this here. So first it will it won't connect. So what we're gonna do is ampere because the, the keys will be lost and yeah the developer get this scan in so just is advertising so just scan should find it in a second and here it is now not this one i need this one see also uh, another thing that i want to point out is that this is one of the cases that you can that you can connect to a device using just uh, the bluetooth setting 
let me frame it. This is one of the cases that you can connect to a device, to a barely a Bluetooth low energy device, just on the Bluetooth settings. Because you know this one is a is a head H I G device, human uh, I don't know I G device. For the other devices that just have you know other uh, custom, uh, custom service custom service or other type of services like this one, like the custom service, it won't appear here. You need an app to connect to it. See? Okay, cool. We have this one here connected, and what I'm gonna do is just open the. Just open the notepad. Just delete this one in my keyboard. Press the first button here, and as you can see, here. And as here, I have the, I have an English keyboard. Cool. That's good. Next thing that we're going to do is debug what actually this, uh, this, the uh, our development case says, our device says. And here we have in this uh, uh, application here, just press the button one. See, just pressing the button one, the development kit or the application that is running on development kit sends a key down. With the code forty, you have a lot of this. Okay, we have code forty. We have not repeated. We have my task and code is zero. Flag a label seventy six. Have a number is zero. Okay, so we have a key down, we have a key up, or we have a key down. Just on pressing and releasing this uh, this uh, this button here. Let's try again. First, first button. Okay. I will just press it, not release it. Just press it now. So we have a key down, and we have a key up. See, so so the 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 application running on the developer kit sends a key down and a key up. With the code 43. Level 79. See, the release doesn't count, does not count. It just, uh, the only thing that counts here for the button is the press for this application. Just press. I don't know what's happening here. Okay. Clear. If you have the sub logs here. No. Okay. Let me just open it. Press. See if it is still working. Okay, something went wrong with the with the application with the with this application here. So just try again. Settings. We yeah, have in the settings. We have move to. Do we have move to again? And it is connected. You just turn the Bluetooth off to disconnect. Turn it on again. Connected. Try again. Press the button one, and it is working. Okay, something the Bluetooth, I, I think. Something with the connection. See, it is working now. Good, and you can debug here the the, the, all the logs that you can send. Like for you, if you want to just send the key up once uh, the 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 key is pressed and send the key down once the 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 the, the, the button is released you can change that in the application and you can look into uh, this up you can change that in the uh, firmware running on the in the official development kit and test that or debug it in this application here on your phone cool so also in the in the in windows here we have another application well we have an application for that so first let me uh, just uh, close here try again told and remember, remember as we have a whitelist here so just it is all build and run and here in uh, in chrome you're gonna look for 
I think you gotta have it. Key event. See, this is one. It says Chrome, Chrome key event tester. If you look in, into the, the, the Chrome uh, extensions uh, store, you'll find this one here and you can install it throughout Chrome. It's named Chrome key event tester. Just, just open it here. But first, this is just connect to it. And first, remove device. I want to remove it. Removing device. Remove it now. Add a Bluetooth device here. Bluetooth. And connect it to it. Good. Should appear here. A second. And it is connected. Close this one here. Just open this uh, keyboard tester here event. And here, let me press the first button here, my development kit. See? You also have the logs here. So we have key A. This is plus, this is the the up. No, this is the down. Which is over which you, you have this uh, log also here. So I have tape key down. Key code 65. Code key A. We have the A. The character that is print that is uh, sent, and we have here the the key up. Cool. Try again. You have the H, no the E. Again, you have the L. Another L, O. And you have the, all the logs here. Cool. So those applications here are good, you know, for de for debugging your app your uh, uh, interface to visit firmware on the host side. Especially for the Bluetooth. Cool. Okay, so yeah, and uh, just, to, just to for just to remember here, uh, you know, for the for the for the for these hex codes, you just head over to this uh, application here. Just open this application here. Head over to the main .c file and just here and a uh, mouse uh, right click and go to definition. And here you need to open this file here. And in this file, you can find all this here. The difference between those two examples is that those hex code here, in this example here, which is the USB D, this is using the USB, USB, those hex code are sent throughout the USB. But in our example, as it is, it is using the, the Bailey, those hex codes, the same hex codes, are sent throughout Bailey. Okay. I think that's it for this uh, example here, for testing, for testing this example here. Hope you learned some, uh, some of it. And hope it is helpful. And uh, thanks for watching. for watching. See you in the next time.